Hello and welcome to another edition of Damon Day on Finance. I have something very special planned for you guys today. I'm going to teach you how to, wait for it, you ready? Use a financial calculator. <laughs> All right, nothing but fun stuff here. Now really, all joking aside, a financial calculator is a really very simple to use and it's a very valuable tool for figuring out the true cost of credit and helping you to create an effective strategy for getting out of debt. Once you have a basic understanding of how they work, it's very simple to get the information that you're looking for. You essentially just tell the calculator what you know and then ask it for what you want. Luckily these days you can just type the words financial calculator into Google and you can quickly find a free web-based calculator like the one you see here. Now let's assume you have 50000 on credit cards and about 25% interest rate and you're just sick and tired of making monthly payments. You'd like to know how long this debt will take to pay off and how much you'll have to pay in order to get out of the debt. Well, let's tell the calculator what we know. We know that you owe $50,000. So we type in 50000 and then click PV. PV stands for present value, which is the present value of your loan or what you owe right now is $50,000. We also know that if everything goes according to plan, the balance of the loan in the future will be zero. So we click zero and then we click FV for future value. Now let's say somewhere along the line you maybe paid one payment late and your current interest rate is 25%. So we can plug that into the calculator as well. However, we must first divide 25 by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. In this example, we are doing everything in terms of months. So we have to keep everything consistent, otherwise the calculator will think that you're paying 25% interest per month. And you certainly won't pay off $50,000 of debt anytime soon if you're being charged 25% interest per month. So we just divide 25 by 12 to get a monthly interest rate of 2.08%. So we can now plug that in, 2.08, and then we click I for percent. Now, last we know that the payment you're planning on making is, in this case, we'll use $1,250 because that's 2.5% of 50000 which is a typical minimum payment. So we can go ahead and plug in 1250 and click payment. Now notice down here where the calculator has been keeping track of what we've been plugging in, we have four knowns down here and we have one button left that we didn't use, in. In is the unknown or what we want to solve for and that is the number of months that it's going to take to pay off this debt given the circumstances that we've specified. So again, we told it what we knew down here and now we want the calculator to tell us what we want to know. So we click Compute In. And that gives us roughly 87 months. So if you owe $50,000 at 25% interest and you make steady payments of $1,250 per month, it will take you 87 months for a total cost of $108,000 to pay off. Now to figure out how I got the 108,000, it's fairly simple. You just take the 87 months and you multiply it by your payments of 1250. So you hit multiply 1250 equals $108,000 to pay off. So now notice something important. I said steady payments of 1250, not minimum payments. One of the dirty little secrets of minimum payments are that they get smaller as your balance goes down. 1250 is a typical minimum payment when you owe 50,000, but as the balance goes down, the bank will be asking for a lower payment because the payment is typically tied to a percentage of the balance, usually between 2 and 3% of the overall balance. So if you only made minimum payments instead of steady payments of 1250, it would take you much longer than this example of 87 months and 7 years to pay off, or I'm sorry, 87 months or 7 years, however you want to look at that. So now this might be an eye-opening experience for you and you may say to yourself, hey, I don't want to have to pay 108000 over seven years. What if I stopped partying like a rock star and I focus more of my money towards my debt? Well, let's use the calculator and take a, take a look at uh, what that would look like. Let's clear this off and we input the same. Again, what do we know? We know 50000 is the same present value of what you owe. Zero is the future value. The monthly rate is the same, 2.08%.
But now, since you're going to stop partying like a rock star, you can afford to pay, say, $1,500 a month in every month instead of the $1,250. So now $1,500 is going to be the new payment that you're making. And now we can solve compute for n. Tell us what we want to know. And as you can see, it's now only 57 months. So we've cut 30 months off of the payments. So now 57 months multiplied by the new payment of 1500 is only $86,000. I say only, not that it's not a lot of money, but it's certainly a lot less than 108000 So just by adding an additional $250 a month to your payment, you're out of debt two and a half years sooner for a total savings of $22,000. So as you can see, knowing how to use the basic functions of a financial calculator can be a very eye-opening and valuable planning tool for understanding the true cost of using credit cards and providing you the motivation to focus on getting out of debt. This has been another edition of Damon Day on Finance. Now go cut up your credit cards.